Hi, this is Jason out of Crossbreed Holsters. Today I'm going to show you how to install the UltiClip Crux system onto your Reckoning holster. The Crux system is designed to push the grip of your firearm in a little bit more, allowing you to carry more discreetly. So let's get started on this. You should have two long screws, your little foot deal, two short stubby screws, two binding posts, and your UltiClip Crux when you have all that kit together. Now you only need one tool to install this and that is a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that comes on my multi-tool today because just about everybody's got a multi-tool. Now I'm ready to go. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to install this little foot on your UltiClip. Now, this can go on oriented a couple of different ways. You can go on and make it flush just like that. You can flip it over and make it a little bit like that. It's really your preference. The main thing to remember is that this foot is gonna need to be about flush with the top of this clip whenever you put it on because the belt loops, the belt is gonna loop through here and then be supported by this. This is gonna push against your belt. So the way that I'm gonna install this today is I'm gonna install it just about like that on the crux. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my binding posts, I'm gonna line them up, and I'm gonna put them through this little slot right here. Then I'm gonna take my foot, make sure everything's all lined up, and then I'm gonna take my short stubby screws and I'm gonna get them started. Now it's a good idea right now to not tighten these all the way because you may wanna adjust it a little bit once you get it installed onto your reckoning holster. So just make them a little tight. There they go, they should look just like that. There's the back view. Okay, now I can set that aside for just a second while we work on our reckoning holster. Okay, so the, to install this, you're gonna need to pull out these two screws that hold in your retention device on your reckoning holster. So let's go ahead with our screwdriver and just go ahead and get those loosened up and pulled out. Shouldn't take too much to get these screws out. The binding post on the rear of your Reckoning holster need to stay in place for this. All right, so I've got these two screws out. I'm not gonna need them from here on out, so I'm just gonna set these aside. Okay, we've got our binding post still in place. Now, I've got installed crux. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna orient it so that it goes over both of the holes left in the absence of those two screws. And I'm gonna take the long screws that came with my kit and I'm just gonna get those started. Okay, those are going into that binding post nicely. Go ahead and grab my multi-tool and get those a little bit more tightened down. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit of slide on there so that I can adjust that kind of up and down. All right. Oh, need to back off just a little bit. Okay, so it's pretty much on there. Now I just need to adjust this so that it's flush with the top of my clips. And I actually did a pretty good job there so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that these are good and tight. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tighten these screws all the way down. And then be careful not to over tighten them so that it doesn't damage anything. But right there, We've got the crux system completely installed. Now when you wear this, your belt loops, your belt is gonna go through these clips right here and it's gonna come out over the top of this and it's gonna pull that firearm 
a little bit away from your, your skin so that it's a lot more comfortable to carry. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a, a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out all over the internet, on Facebook and on Instagram. And of course, check out www.crossbreedholsters.com. Guys, that's how you install the Crux. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.